Good afternoon folks, Joey Nelson here at Park Model Homes. Today we are touring our Woodland Park Grand Teton 252. Uh, I really like this model because it comes standard with a lot of windows. Great for riverfront properties and just something that you want to take advantage of a view. Uh, a couple things I wanted to point out on this house before I get started on the inside is uh, we did the Midnight Surf exterior color. This is vinyl siding. We do an LP smart siding as well. You can paint it whatever color you want. But something we did differently is we trimmed out all the corner pieces. So this bay window is trimmed out and it matches nicely with the white vinyl windows as well. And the whole front side out here is bayed out. We add a couple extra square feet, rounds off the front, looks really nice. We also added some LED can lights up in the front side here underneath the eaves. So if you have a nice walkway or something in front of your home, it helps light up that walkway or if you add a porch after the home is delivered. Just a nice option you can add to kind of help light up the area a little bit better. Another thing I wanted to point out, this does have a central air conditioner. Most uh, park models don't actually come with air conditioning, so the fact that these actually come installed, ready to go, you just gotta hook up the return air, ready to go for central air conditioning. On the back side here, we did 50 amp service, so it's propane cooking and heating. This is where your black water connection is, your city water connection is. All your utilities are gonna be located in the driver's side end of the unit, just like any other RV, so it works well with most RV parks where these are delivered to. We also put heat tape receptacles underneath the house, so there is a plug in there, so we can heat tape the water lines, so you can use these during the winter time. And when you leave, if you decide to, there's a low point drain where the hot water tank is. Just drain out the tank. Make sure you turn the hot water tank off so you're not burning up the element in the water tank. But pretty, pretty easy, straightforward way of winterizing your unit. Another thing I wanted to point out, the loft does have an air conditioner up there. So it's a secondary air conditioner in conjunction with the central air conditioning unit. I have had a lot of people ask me about connecting your TV. Simple question you would think, but uh, most people can't figure out how to connect the TV services to your park model. So what we do is where your TV locations are, we have a conduit that runs directly down the unit. And you can see right here, it's already pre-wired for a coax TV. It runs straight down the home. It's hidden in the belly board, so it won't be exposed during transit but I pulled it out here for educational purposes. This is how you connect your TV to your cable or satellite TV. All right, let's go ahead and take a look inside. We did do some nicer options in this house that I wanted to point out that a lot of builders don't necessarily do. The first thing you're gonna see is this does come fully furnished. 72 inch sleeper sofa, queen size mattress folds out of it, recliner. And actually it comes with all the decor too. Everything you see in the house comes with all the decor. End tables, you know, picture frames, whatever you really want. And they come pretty well turnkey. Now looking this way, this is a little bit bigger TV than we normally do. This is a 47. I don't know if I necessarily recommend it. It kind of gets in the way of the cabinets. So doing a 42 inch TV in this floor plan is probably gonna be the best route. Um, but that kind of gives you a, a size uh, comparison doing a 47 inch TV. So another thing you want to take a look at here is this little cubby has conduit that runs through the exterior wall from the TV so all your wires can be hidden down here. So your DVD player or Comcast box, you won't see any of those wires coming down from the TV to the cable box. We also did a 30 inch electric Dimplex fireplace. This does throw out some pretty decent amount of heat. It also looks nice too, but if you didn't want to have the electric fireplace, basically it would just be a couple cabinet doors in place of it, just another place for more storage. Looking through here, nice open galley kitchen. We did the white cabinetry with the black handles. And then you'll see over here, we did the blue accent hutch and the blue accent island something that's cool about this island it is movable so you can rearrange it if you want to it's got a ton of storage in the island with adjustable shelving just more places to add storage if you want to 
Another cool thing, we did the toe kick lighting. It's really, it's a nice accent lighting. We did it here in the kitchen underneath the hutch and we also did it in the bathroom, which I'll show you here in a second. Uh, it's a little, it's more daylight out, so you can't necessarily see it, but we did toe kick lighting underneath her as well. Cool thing with the hutch, it comes with the wine glass rack, the glass cabinet doors up here. There's some more decor stuff. This is a lofted unit, so it does come with two loft areas. You got one above the bathroom hallway area. You're gonna have one over the bedroom area as well. So twice the square footage up there doesn't take away any of the square footage on the lower levels. So we're still meeting that 399 uh, requirement for a park model RV. Come standard with all the appliances, the microwave, the range, the fridge. You can upgrade to stainless steel as an option. We also did the tile backsplash, so we did white tile with a blue accent band in the center. All the kitchen cabinetry also has lighting underneath it. You see the dimmer switch, that actually operates the lighting underneath the cabinetry as well. Now let's go down the hallway here. First thing you're gonna see on the left-hand side, this is a louver door for a washer and dryer. Out of Woodland Park, they are 110 dryers. They're not propane or 220, so they are 110. There's all your water connections, exhaust for the dryer. It is a vented dryer, not a ventless dryer. And the louver doors open all the way up so you can get in and out of it pretty easily. So that's why we do the louver doors in this area. Next, we're gonna look into the bathroom. We did the lighted mirror. And we also did the toe kick lighting down here too. You know, if it's late at night, having the toe kick lighting just helps you kind of get around and it's a cool accent. Did the angled shower. This is just our standard shower. So you're gonna notice there's about an eight inch lip on the base here. Uh, for people that have bad knees and stuff like that, we can do a lower shower pan about two inches. It'll give you a little bit more head space in the shower, but we already recessed the head well up in the shower too. And like I mentioned in my videos, I'm six foot four, I can stand in there just fine. But if you do the upgraded shower pan, it just gives you that extra height, um, make you feel a little bit more comfortable if you're tall like me. Next up is the pantry. All adjustable shelving as well. This is about 36 inches wide inside this cabinet. This is a ton of storage. Um, you know, some people might turn into a broom closet, coat closet. You can take the shelves out if you want to. There's a lot of storage here, so you could certainly do that if you wanted to, but more storage is always a benefit. So we do the pantry and the washer and dryer closet. And we do the step down bedroom. So we drop the floor of the bedroom, recess the head well here. That's actually gonna give you another 12 inches of ceiling clearance up in the loft. 55 and a half inches right now is what our ceiling clearance is up in the loft. So it makes a huge difference. You won't be able to stand up all the way, but it makes a huge difference if you're trying to make a sewing room or you know a place for the kids to sleep. Got the overhead cabinets. We also did the bookshelves on each side, open shelving. It kind of helps frame in the bed. It looks nice. We also did the overhead lighting in the bedroom as well. Has the dimmer switch to operate it. This is a queen size mattress. You're really not going to fit a king size mattress. I get a lot of those questions. It's way tight. Wouldn't recommend doing it. Um, you also got your bank of drawers in the center. You got your TV space in the center as well. It's got a light in there. You got your his and her t-shirt closet. And sometimes people want to put a motion light in here, which is kind of cool too, because there's no lighting in here naturally. And um, if you wanted to put a motion light in your closet, that way if you open it up and you don't want to turn the lights on and wake somebody up in bed. Uh, the light will kick on right when you open the door and it'll shut off when you're not using it. So that's kind of a new, a new feature that we've been offering people. Now we're coming up the loft here. Like I mentioned before, this is a split loft. So you got two separate areas. The first area we're going to look at is the drop section. This is the section that's going to give you 55 and a half inches of ceiling clearance. We did a loft closet as well entertainment center area for your TV. Most people are gonna put a futon up here. You can fit a full size mattress, but if you do the futon, then you can watch TV and when it's time for bed, you just fold it down into a bed and, and go to sleep. So it's multifunctional. 
And this is the other loft area, separated loft. We did the wall with two windows. You can do open railing if you want to, but if kids are sleeping up here, most people want to add the windows just to retain the sound. And maybe you don't want to see all the stuff that's stored up here. So that's also a really nice option. And we're back here coming through the hallway to the living room. Anyways, guys, we're really excited about this house. One of our most popular floor plans. I'm excited to have the furniture, all the lights on, everything to show you here. If you have any questions about this model or other models we have to offer, please give us a call. 888-222-2699. Once again, join Ellison Park Model Homes. 888-222-2699.